Welcome. My name is Manuel from Qatar Studios. So today we'll be going all through the Elementor user interface for web designers. Okay. So they thoroughly revamped their UI for the builder. This is what it used to look like previously before now. Okay. Just have all these uh, uh, tabs at the below, uh, at the bottom layer of the builder and some other options at the top and the rest of the things all around okay now before now you want to pull out the responsive mode you have to click on this to pull that out but now look at the all new user interface so this is what it looks like by default you have all of these options here and i'm going to go through all of these and why this is a huge change before we get into that, let me teach you how you can get this activated. And by the way, this is a better version. Do not install this on your client's website until it is live for users, okay? So this is better version, meaning that you can't use this on an actual site, but this is just to test out if there are bugs and uh, the rest of the things. Now, to activate it before this time this video is being made you would need the elemental beta developer edition so you need to just download install that from the plugin install section but during this particular version take three i think this is um i think this version is uh 3.12.0 okay during this uh, in this version beta 1 3.12 beta 1 and uh, the elemental 3.13 developers one this particular version you can actually do all these uh, fill all these features without actually uh, getting in to download and uh, activate the Elementor Be the Developers Edition. Okay, so we don't need this anymore. You can possibly delete this if you don't want it. So there are simple settings you need to do before you get this set up uh, as as it is here. So what you need to do is get into your Elementor, hover over your Elementor, and first of all, click on the tools. Okay, in the tools area, you will need to click on the version control. Okay, instead of version control, you might need to migrate this if everything doesn't work fine after everything, but you can just leave this open. Now, enable the beta tester, this over here. So click on the beta tester and enable it and save. That's all you need to do from here. As soon as you're done with that, hover over the settings inside the Elementor, Elementor page builder uh, logo. Click on settings and click on features. Now, inside instead of features, there are a couple of uh, stuff you need to enable here. You see the status of most of these are still on beta version. Now, you need to activate the inline uh, font icon if you need that, that just for the test. Flexbox must be activated. Uh, editor, editor top bar must be activated. What that means is you want these stuffs to go at the top bar, okay? Editor top bar. If you deactivate it, it will be at the bottom part as you have it before now. So bear that in mind. Editor top bar enables all those stuffs to push out there. Enable the next element. Leave the lazy load. The menu activates it. I will be talking about the mega menu after now. They introduced that in the, this recent version. So Elementor now have a mega menu. You can build a full mega menu from the front end builder. Now the rest of the things you can leave that as it is then scroll down and hit on save but since this is a test uh, environment i can go on to activate everything and that is it activate everything and i hit on save now once you're done with that everything is set to go you load a new page you are going to find out you have the interface as this now they have a very cleaner icons for their widgets these look very nicely their global uh, uh, area, if there was anything there, looks nice to your favorite, where you can plug in most favorite stuffs. Now here is, uh, before now, you need to click on this to exit Elementor. Now they have it, the option here. I love the fact that they still did this in a way that it is not a kind of a totally uh, a different thing from the user interface people are used to before now. For persons who are very uh, timid to changes, this will be still be uh, a great move, uh, a great uh, update for them too. Now, one other thing I love about this update is that before now, if you hit on exit, it's going to exit your builder and get into WordPress or the preferred location you assigned initially when you applied the settings for the exit. But this time around, when you hit on exit, you are going to get into a new tab. As you can see from here, we are hitting into a new tab, which means we can still get back to our Elementor and continue with what we are doing. So I love that particular feature. It's very interesting to me. 
okay now you can get into the team builder from here you can get your history from here user preference the settings for user preference are here instead before now we get the user preference uh from still this particular angle but there's one thing i love about this putting the uh, I, I don't like about this sorry putting the privacy settings and uh, uh, the settings over here i don't think it's very necessary i think this should be moved to the left side with these other ones possibly along this line i think that would be nice okay so this is the structure panel this is the layer area you can still drag the layer to the edge and you know combust it to make it align well but i don't think this is nice i usually like designing without the layer structure over there you want to see what you have designed you can view from here you make any changes from your website i think you can publish from here so before now they have the publish icon at the bottom part for instance you made a change from the website actually this is a real client website i'm making okay this is a real client website i'm making which will be out in a couple of days if you make any changes in elementor before now you need to hit on this tiny uh button below here sometimes it conflicts with my menu below whenever i hover down it, my my uh my tabs in my windows pops up and i don't like that particular experience so i think this is a very nice interaction and very nice experience uh for let me close this down very nice experience for uh persons like me who like everything to be at the top side like i am coming from the perspective of oxygen builder and uh, bricks builder this is very useful and unique and making the button very bolder than it is before like two times bolder than it, it, it is before is very important okay it's very important i like that particular structure and the view preview changes to see the website you've done you can hit on that preview changes and it loads a new page to show the new website which you have done now we have the finder very open here i love that particular feature too now we can have the finder instead of getting in here and locating the finder from here we can actually search for a particular page which we want to build and we can start working on that particular page so when you click on a particular stuff you want to work on hit on it and you can get into that page and start editing instead of exiting here to wordpress and clicking on that page and coming back so it's very easy from here here you can get help from this angle and i think that's basically the most important things you need to know you can add a new element from here now before now if you're actually editing an element like so you want to add a new element you need to hit this particular box icon which i don't think represents that particular add uh, 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 interaction for adding new element this actually doesn't represent that particular feature of adding new element so i think the idea of adding a plus icon here makes a lot of sense so we can just do that from here and add new elements we can have our site settings our general site settings actually all in front here while before now we have the site settings from the bottom part which is still difficult for me to go to sometimes it's very busy it's very hidden and sometimes uh, very difficult for me to assess i think they added a couple more features in the in the uh this particular element but i'm gonna look into this after now and by the way they added some kind of um uh uh elements but that you'll be getting possibly if you are not using the container uh the container feature but i'll be talking about that possibly in our next video okay there are some other dynamic tags and other stuff that have been added to this particular update which i'll still be talking about in the future okay now you can have loops in dynamic uh, elements like having an element display particular content and another element display that same category of content possibly a news you display a particular news from this particular tab the next tab display another news but in it with a different style okay you can cascade that down to the next one after the next one having the same style i'm going to talk about that later and i think that's a very great uh uh update for for persons who deal with uh, 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 uh dynamic elements advanced custom fields and all of that now we have the uh responsiveness as you all know you can add more responsive uh, elements uh responsive uh uh responsive uh breakpoints i mean from this particular angle you can add new responsive breakpoints for your uh website like the mobile landscape the desktop the laptop and the rest of them 
okay now um getting into the most important part of this which is the mega menu i think is very important for this because this is a game changer okay this we are elementor really impressed me before now we have the basic let me just drop down uh basic stuff then before now we have a basic menu builder let's search for menu okay this is the basic wordpress menu builder which we are used to when you drop this in you're going to select a menu from here and you can start building okay select your menu from there and start building i would have shown you what the menu look like but i don't think i have that time for that old uh, that's actually when you have created the menu then you can actually select a particular menu from here then it will populate from here then any menu you added from the back end of wordpress builder will automatically populate in the front end uh, of the menu tab but we don't have that anymore okay so now we have the elementor menu builder okay which is the one i think is most preferable for me so scroll down you're going to find the menu element from here drag it in and you have these tabs these tabs as we usually have for the icon listing and the rest of the things so now we have these menus we have the features we can change this to the main menu can call this home okay you can call this about us and this could be contact us or let's call this other pages because this is what one made the mega menu with okay so fine now we have these three let's just call these orders to keep everything very simple and neat and by the way we can just push this everything to the left side and uh, as it usually should be i think i should even zoom closely so you can be seeing what i'm doing clearly so we have this menu practically there are two there are two things you can do with this menu one of which is you can put a custom link from here Okay, you can add a custom link, like adding a custom link to wherever page you want it to, be, even to a page in another website. That which was difficult, a little bit difficult without the mega menu before now in Elementor Page Builder. You can also add a new a page that is already existing in the website, like for instance, a low page or sample page to be linked to that particular uh, home page. You get the point now. So that's what you can do. That's basically one thing you can do from there. You can also select options from here put your key values and all of that can make this a dynamic uh, uh page okay to a whatever you want it to be everything they made it very simple and clean now this is where the uh mega menu comes to shine now when you click on any tab any of this tab you will see this option from the bottom part which says drop down content once you enable this this automatically becomes the mega menu as you can see from here we now have a drop down icon now what this basically means you can click on this by the way i'll be having a thorough series of classes on mega menu you can use it on the header you can use it inside of the website possibly any way you want it to perform now this mega menu you can add anything from this so this is practically just like your container layout where you can add elements like this inside so now let's add a basic element from inside that uh builder let's just add a layout like this and um, let's add some kind of element from here let's just drop in let's just drop in a contact form or let's drop in i want to put i want to i want to put in something very simple from there so you understand the power of what you can do with that let's drop in a price no that would be too busy i want to drop in something very slicky and very simple something that uh, okay let's just drop this in let's drop in this value okay and by the way you see the insert now the insert icon is now bolder than it, than it is before now okay, so by now we can just click on option and copy this element once we copy this element we can come in to the mega menu option and we paste the element inside of here so now we pasted the element we can start styling the element the way we want to style it I know if you get the point that's very simple this is because this is a different layer and this is the background is actually not colored so we can select this and style the background color to black i think and everything will start shining you can copy another let's say we copy this layout and we drop it there we copy this image and we can still drop that in here paste it in here 
we can select the tab and we can tell the tab to align everything horizontally the tab we can select it and enable it to be a full width you get a point everything is stretched out okay and this is basically as much there are you can just add in anything you want to from this particular end you can select on the elements click on add you can add a button okay there's a drag and drop you can add a button you can add whatever you want to add and style it the way you want to style it i hope you get the idea okay i hope you get the idea this is very simple and straightforward this is just the same way you build other layouts in your website now we are done with this you can select on that element and decide how you want it to function okay whether you want it to function by hover you can click on drop down where you want it to be on hover or you want it to be on click so you want people to hover on this and it shows this or you want people to click on it so we allow it to be on hover you can see some other features you can you know play around with from here so now let's publish this and see how it looks from the front end so fine now when you hover over this you're gonna see all this remember the effect you're gonna remove the effect coming from this other settings okay so everything will look nicer or you just make the effect come from below so you make it clickable then it will be clickable if you make it hover then it will be hover so you have your full width mega menu and you have your other menus from here so elemental mega menu is a game changer i think i love that feature so much i love that feature so so much let's try to just copy this let's see if this will be let's just delete this let's just select on this and delete and let's add a new element and we paste fine everything is in just as we have it in the other one okay layout boxed we can hit this on percentage and make sure this is 100 percent okay so that's basically it guys i think they have a little more work to do from this end you see everything is not looking very neat from here it's not looking very clear and if you check the mega menu okay clearly you see the, there is some kind of uh white layer from this edge look at the edge it's right there so i think they need a little more work to clean this up finally okay so that's it about the user interface for elemental page builder i'll be talking i'll be having more advanced tutorial about the mega menu because i love to play around mega menu with the website i've built previously mega menu they are awesome and i love to play around that with uh, elemental page builder so that's basically it for elemental mega menu you can add as much as you want as much element as you want style them as you want make them responsive just as you make the other element from your uh layout responsive so by the way if you have not subscribed to our channel hit on the subscribe button and my name is manuel from kata studios See you in the next video.